I'd like to talk about preventing the spread of the coronavirus. And there's something um, there's something missing in the, the advice I'm hearing in the news and online. And that is that um, bacteria and viruses absolutely love hair, body hair. Now, if you think of all the openings we have in the body, there's usually hair nearby. I mean, just just think of um, just think of the head. There's small hairs in the ear, the nose. We have the eyelashes, we have the eyebrows. Even under our arms, why is there hair there? There's no opening there? Well, there's a lot of lymph glands there. And the pores in the skin are there. So the hair is there under the arms, so the bacteria will stay there on the hair and not be absorbed into the pores and into the lymph glands, which are very crucial to our health. And other body hairs, same thing. It's there so the bacteria and viruses will stay there on the hair and not travel to the inside of the body. So think about this. Why do surgical staff, when they're getting ready to perform surgery, why do they cover their shoes, their hands with gloves, a mask on their face, and also they wear some type of paper disposable cap to cover their hair. I worked in surgery. I did that. And they're not protecting themselves from the patient. They're protecting the patient. So why do I why do I see everywhere online and in public that people have long flowing hair? You know, it, it, it's all over the place. And um, I don't think they wash it every day. And so if they don't want to cover their hair, you know, they're not used to it. Um, they don't feel attractive with their, with their hair covered. Um, you know, they have their cultural practices. Why don't, why don't they tie up their hair? Have a headband, you know, put a ponytail. Um, you know, it, it just makes sense. And if you think men with shaved faces are doing the right thing so they won't have a bunch of bacteria and viruses in their beards, no, because if there's <laughs> the beard is there for a reason, if the bacteria and viruses are, are, are around a person, they will stay in the beard and the man will not breathe it in. I mean, isn't it better that he doesn't get sick and become contagious? You know, of course, he could, you know, he has to wash his beard every day. If he doesn't want to, like it's cold weather, then take a blow dryer and, and you know, put the hot air all over the beard to, you know, sanitize, get rid of all the uh, harmful bacteria or viruses. It's a proven fact that men with beards are healthier and live longer. For this same thing I'm saying, the viruses gets, and bacteria get stuck in the beard, and he doesn't breathe them in. Now, we know that men, um, their longevity is less than a woman. A woman usually, statistically, lives seven years longer uh, than a man. Maybe because men take more risks. Maybe be, they, they drink more alcohol, maybe they smoke more, um, whatever. So let's do all we can to protect ourselves and to protect others. Now, um, I saw online that uh, in, other, in some other countries, there, there was uh, many nurses who actually shaved their heads because they know there's COVID in the hair and they wanted to, you know, do the noble thing and they had it in their minds to protect their patients. But 
think about all the micro abrasions that are being caused when somebody you know scrapes their head with a razor there's a lot of little cuts so you know instead of shaving their head they could have just covered their hair or make sure to wash their hair every day and this is important don't touch your hair I mean I see people touching their hair all the time you know they go the this and they go like this and you know <laughs> you know let's be sensible when I was in nursing school they told us they told us the same thing bacteria and viruses love hair and another thing don't wash your hands so much that you're also washing away the good bacteria now if you've never heard of good bacteria think about yogurt Yogurt has living good bacteria in it. That's why it's so popular. So think about what I'm saying. You know, if you don't like a headscarf, okay, wear a hat and do something. Or at least tie it up and don't touch your hair during the day. And whatever you're touching all day long, just be aware of it, you know? And and don't forget, if you if you're going to handle the faucet with a dirty hand, uh, after you wash your hands, don't put your hand on the faucet to, to shut it off because you're just dirtying your hand all over again. You know, shut it off with a paper towel. Or while you're washing your hands, go ahead, you know, with all the soap and water on your hands, go ahead and, you know, wash the faucet and, and then rinse it off. But then you could uh, turn it off without a paper towel. So uh, I hope this is useful. Um, any questions? Let me know.